This week on Canada in the Rough, we're hunting in the Yukon. Keith is hunting on horseback in the remote Yukon wilderness with Tombstone Outfitters this week. He's searching for mountain caribou and moose in this not-to-be-missed, heart-pumping Yukon hunting adventure. You know, Brad, as we're walking in beautiful Dawson City, Yukon right now with fresh snow, I feel like we've stepped back in time, like generations. We're actually on an actual boardwalk right now as a sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, well, dirt streets and boardwalks, it, they did it a hundred years ago and it still works. You know so what? That's what we're doing. That's exactly what it is. The, the buildings are literally from a hundred years ago. I mean, they've been upkept and maintained, but that's we're in a town right out of a Wild West movie. That's right. And it's not just facades. The whole building themselves, there's a lot of restoration and a lot of work that's gone into this. And uh, the whole community is just vibrant. It, it's That's, I think, the most important part. We can see the beauty of it, the mountains and the, and the streets and the, the boardwalks, but the people in the community are, if I can say old school, that just good community people that are here hard working and enjoying each other and, and making a wonderful life. But we're not just here to see these sights and sounds. We got some beautiful ones up the Dempster Highway today. We're headed into your hunting territory. Yep, we got a couple hour drive up the Dempster Highway, world renowned highway, and the scenes will just be amazing and very much look forward to getting you up there. So welcome to Dawson. Thank you. Let's get hunting. Let's get up there. <laughs> The Dempster Highway begins 40 kilometers east of Dawson City and extends 740 kilometers north to Inuvik, Northwest Territories. Because of the harsh climate, the gravel road sits on top of a huge gravel berm to insulate the permafrost, which ranges from three to seven feet thick. But most impressive of all is the amazing scenery you get to enjoy as you travel Canada's only four season road to the Arctic Circle. Tombstone Outfitters is located in the Tombstone Territorial Park. With no vehicular access off the highway, the area holds tremendous numbers of world-class animals, from big moose to beautiful mountain sheep and majestic caribou, just to name a few. And though you are in the middle of nowhere, you feel right at home with their comfortable accommodations and home-cooked meals. Well, it's hard to wipe the smile on your face when you're in a place as beautiful as this. We've rode by horseback for about four hours up the valley behind me, crossing the creeks, glassing the beautiful mountains. Get to this hilltop here and look up and there's five dull sheep using lambs up above us. And then sit down and look across and a band of seven absolutely gorgeous rams over there. Two or three of them full curl. Just absolutely stunning. Not the animals we're hunting on this trip, but absolutely stunning. We'll keep glassing for what we're after, but what a beautiful sight. I see a bull moose. Where is he? Uh, just over in the willow thickets over there. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a nice bull. What do you think, high 40s, maybe 50? Yeah, maybe 52. Younger looking bull though. Yeah, he is. Long tines on him. Not that wide though on the palms, but uh, he's a beautiful bull, but 
I don't think he's that giant Yukon one we're looking for. So no, maybe I don't think today. so. So Brad, no, he's, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Probably one of those three, four-year-olds, eh? High yeah. 40s, maybe 50, but yeah, just not not filled out with the palms. And what a beautiful bull! And a great morning to be out hunting. Very nice. Guide in a hunter's dream. <laughs> heard, 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 with sporadic ones running around, but we got a challenge in front of us. What do you think about getting a better look at these? Uh, well, I don't think it's going to be easy, that's for sure, but luckily the wind's in our favor for now anyways, and I guess we'll just have to try to sneak up maybe on the right-hand side of the straw and get a better look, which in these willows is just about impossible, but... <laughs> but no matter what, you couldn't ask for much more than this, yeah. so... All right, let's get going then, take a look. Some off to the left, off to the right. Oh, those bulls are fighting. They're going at it good. Look at that. So we're able to get a good eye on this first group down here. There's nine or ten, some beautiful bulls. There's none of the big, mature, heavy horn ones. So we're going to actually leave this group, try to work down and get a look at the ones further down the mountain here. So it's still in our favor. So hopefully we can get a good look at them. Oh, there's a bull, guys, coming down off that hill. Well, he looks like a nice bull. Yeah, I think he looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna just creep up that knoll there a little bit. I'm gonna hold my gun and get this backpack off. Sneak up there, see if we can't get a better look at him and at least get into shooting range. Thanks, man. I don't know. I got a good look at him. He doesn't seem like he has too many points up top. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty light on the top. I think we can probably find a better caribou for sure. <sighs> yeah, I agree, Kyla. This is so incredible right now to have an opportunity to bull like that and to let him go. It's because the, the class of, of animals out here is remarkable. But this is, patience is a virtue when you're hunting, especially in the mountains. So we'll just carry on, see if we can't find another one.
there's a big bull in there. We're coming off this hill. We had no time. He's running down with a big hurts. We're just circling up here quick to get off. There he is. Oh, huge herd to the right there. Oh, look at the bull in there. He's huge. Okay, kind of. That's him moving, moving to the right, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he's walking out to the right there. Yeah, yeah. Kata, can you get a look at that big bull in the far herd? Is he coming this way still? Ah, uh, they're just kind of milling around. Yeah. He's a really nice he's bull. He's palmated and beautiful, but you know what? We got this one right here. Yeah, two right. awesome bulls. He's walking off to the right there, Kata. I'm going to take him when he stops to the right. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh my god, that's awesome. Thank you, thank Good you, job. Thank you, that is god. awesome. That was he an amazing is shot. A giant. He's <laughs> yeah. a giant. He's, great. He's an absolute giant. That was a great stock. That thank you. That was awesome. a ton of fun. Yeah. We got in there nice. That herd, he moved off. He actually looked like he was gonna join. That other herd's moving towards us. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're gonna come this way, I think. You know what? Brad's got a crack at him. You wanna run and grab him? Yeah. We'll let's keep go get an eye him. on him. Okay. Go get him. I, I, this, this other bull's magnificent, totally different. Palmated up top, huge fronts and bezes. Brad's just a hundred, two hundred yards behind us here, so Kyla's ran to get him. See if we can't get a double here. He's working right towards our bull right now. Oh, look at the tops on him. He's so palmated. His fronts and shovel, he is, he's incredible. Oh, here he comes. He's huge, Brad. Ooh, he's huge. Give me easy rifle. Yeah, yeah. Set that stick up. He's right there on the on the left side right now. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. He's walking okay. on the left right now. I think I got him. But I, I just need a minute for my breath. Take your time, Brad. The herd's starting to move around him. You got a minute, man. Oh, yeah, and there's some in front of him yeah. now anyway. Take your breath. He's just standing on that ledge off to the left. Quoted towards, or I'd say take him, but it's just a little marginal. We might as well wait for the shot. Okay. Okay, he's walking away now, Brad. Yeah, that's open there. Take your time in the shot, Brad. When he stops. Perfect shot, Brad. Brad, you made a perfect shot. Did that hit? Yeah, he's going down right now. He's down, buddy. Oh. You did it. I can't believe you. Good we just doubled him. Kyla, we got Good him. Good job, guys. Can That's you believe awesome. that? Good job. Can you nice believe shoot. that? Great. Hey, Good that, job. Nice. that happened. We filmed both bulls. My decision wasn't a hard one because this was stunning. We yeah. get him and it all unfolded. He runs in, she goes and gets you, and we just shot two unbelievable mountain care in the, in the Yukon. What a wonderful way to share it with you, yeah. Keith. You know, to, in the rough. to be amazing. here with you guys, to share this, to share this country, this these amazing creatures. Thank you for having us, and oh. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. On one of the coolest on doubles you. I've ever been a part of. <laughs> yeah. I've never part. got to take my boss out before, so <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Now let's go down and enjoy the fun part. Yeah. Let's go see them. That's so exciting, man. Oh, guys, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh, oh. my goodness. The colors. Oh my goodness, look at that bull. Wow! Wow! Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful animal. This well is done, absolutely Kyle. stunning. Look at the way these top tines actually circle back down and in. The beams almost come down and touch the, the bez. Crazy. What a beauty bull. That is Guys, this is this is the magic beautiful. of the Yukon right here. In the Tombstone Mountain Range, I I just, I'm honestly, 
I'm humbled right now. I'm humbled. Well, uh, we're so pleased to be able to share this with you. What a That's, magnificent oh. animal. What a magnificent animal. Look at all those points. What a unique animal. Yeah. He is simply stunning, but the best part of this is, now we get to walk over and look at yours. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check that out. Look at that. Look at that sight. Oh. <laughs> oh, Brad, Brad, double yeah. shovels, double bez. Brad, oh. look at the size of him, buddy. Oh. Look at the size of him. Wow. Holy look at this. That is the largest caribou I've ever taken. Look at by him. Far. He Double shovels, double bez. Look at the palmate. The length of these, these bez are incredible. Yeah. All forked yeah. out. And look at this side oh. you guys are holding on to. Look yeah. at that tine back there. Oh man, you spectacular. The old cliche goes, now the work begins though. So. Yes, it does. <laughs> and, uh, we'll get her done. Let's go get some horses. Let's get that stuff. You know, it's moments like this you wish you could climb to the tallest mountain and let the whole world know what us hunters experience every day, and that is the greatness of the great outdoors. Not only is it taking food home to feed our families and, and antlers that we're proud of from amazing animals we've been able to hunt, but we're out experiencing something that's happened for tens of thousands of years before us, and that's out enjoying nature and providing for our families. Some like to go out and farm, some like to shop for their food, some like to go and hunt for it. All of the above are okay. This is a method and a way of life that is truly something we wish we could share with everyone. And if you haven't had the chance or you want the chance to come up here and experience the Yukon Territory like we have, Brad Whitelaw and the folks here at Tombstone Outfitters, it's an amazing experience. I highly recommend it. I'm your host Keith Beezer for Canada in the Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.